I'm Edith Bershenglen. Right now on your 13 Action News update, four people are dead after a seven-car crash near Durango and Desert Inn yesterday. Two others remain in the hospital. Police say a car was speeding on Desert Inn towards Durango when it rear-ended a second car, throwing both cars into the intersection. The two cars then hit a third and all three burst into flames. In total, seven cars were involved in the crash at the intersection. More than 70 people are without a home after a two-alarm apartment fire last night. The fire happened near MLK and Bonanza. Firefighters say no one was hurt. The displaced families are getting help from the American Red Cross. And you still have time to help the people affected by the Alpine Motel Apartments fire in downtown. The Downtown Vegas Alliance set up a donation center at the Mob Museum. The Alliance says they've received enough toys and toiletries, but they are still in need of things like socks, underwear, pants and tops and pajamas for men, women and children. Well, we are starting to see a drying out period just in time for the weekend, but we could see some lingering showers through the southeast parts of our valley. That clears out by the afternoon with mostly sunny skies later on. We're going to hang on to those chilly conditions, though, and some breezy conditions. You'll see those sustained winds close to 15 miles per hour right around lunchtime, and we're topping out in the low 50s by the afternoon back into the 30s overnight. So we will see some drier conditions pushing in overnight into your Saturday as well, but keep the hot the jacket handy because we're going to stay chilly. Thanks, Kelsey. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com, our KTNV mobile app, our Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV. Have a great day, everyone.